Iceland is home to secret mining farms. In this case, pools of computers that compete for bitcoins. Many see the cyber currency as an alternative to traditional banking. Among them is Marco Streng, who owns this complex. What makes the Bitcoin special is its independence from the financial world. And as we've seen in the past, that system is, in many places, doomed to failure. Bitcoins are mined by high-performance computers tasked with processing certain complicated transactions. They're rewarded for those services with Bitcoins. Bitcoins are traded like other currencies. Right now, one Bitcoin costs almost a thousand euros. The exchange rate does fluctuate wildly, but more and more portals now accept the cyber currency. You can charge up debit cards with them, order items from online mail order dealers or book flights, and they also work outside the internet. One of the world's first Bitcoin ATMs was installed in Prague in 2014. Martin Wismayer's company makes the dispensers. He sees himself as a Bitcoin ambassador. For the first time in history, this is the first money which is issued by the people and it is owned by the people. There is no banker required. Yeah. It's like where we are going, there is no banks. The ATM was set up in this cafe. It enables customers to exchange their check crowns for bitcoins. It works with a smartphone app. The digital wallet makes credit cards and cash redundant. Martin Wismayer himself has already gone a step further. I use a chip implant. I created it in 2000, 2014. See, you can see the tiny little chip. Wow. Half of it is antenna and the other half is the chip. He can therefore pay for his energy drink from this machine with his hand. He thinks that in the future, everyone will shop this way. But Bitcoins have their darker flip side. Because payments are hard to trace, they're popular with criminals eager to finance illegal operations. On Iceland, there's no sign of that less savory side. Marco Streng leases his supercomputers to customers who want to mine Bitcoins. It's a virtual gold rush. The electricity bill alone for this Bitcoin mine is a million euros a month. The German owner is reluctant to disclose his profits. If I told you that, it would immediately give all our competitors an indication of our size. And that could give them an advantage. He's already planning more mining farms. And it's not just about Bitcoins. Hundreds of cyber currencies exist on the web. It's yet to be seen what they can be used for in everyday life. But Marco Streng is already doing excellent business.